Assalamualaikum. <clears throat> Welcome to our new lesson based on translation course. Today we have the lesson about those kinds of sentences where we have signs like is kadar or itna. And then at the end it's raha hai and chuka hai or ta raha hai. Previously we have done one lecture about it where we saw cannot sakta hai at the end and ta hai at the end of a sentence. So we'll continue this lesson based on its next part. So I'll write first so and that. So you watch our previous lesson about it so you can understand more. So I'll write here is kadal is kadal or itna. So these are two ways. When the sentences do have such signs, and then the next one starts with k, and at the end you have raha hai. So first we'll see the formula for this. Then we will translate. These will be short lectures, very small lectures, because we have done previously one lecture wherein we gave the understanding of such kind of sentences. Let me write the formula here. That means subject or noun, and then so, then adjective, and then that, and then subject or noun, then then is, am, are, and then inform and then object or another noun. Now dear students, we did see first, let's, let's make a comparison by making one example. We did write previously, wo is kadar kamzor hai ki wo nahi chal sakta hai. That time it was sakta hai. And then we used can, which is often seen there uh, for such kind of sentences. But maybe this time we have a different kind of sentence where we are talking about the action at the time of speaking. At the time of speaking, for example, you say somebody that you make him to drink water or you make him to take tea, but that person is not able or that person doesn't abide by you and he doesn't take it that time. So at the time of speaking, when we are talking and we have such kind of sentences, so we use such formula at that time. So let me write here the example. Wo itna sust hai ke wo pani nahi pi raha hai. वो इतना सुस्त है कि वो पानी नहीं पी रहा है, so और वो इतना कमजोर है कि वो पानी नहीं पी रहा है, so according to this we'll translate it. Let me see. First the subject I'll write here. वो is he, then so he is so the adjective is सुस्त, lazy or weak. He is so lazy or weak. If you have कमजोर, he is so weak that he is not drinking he is not drinking water maybe wo itna bimar hai he is we will write now here bimar ke wo let me write here another sentence wo itni now the feminine वो इतनी बीमार है कि वो कुछ भी नहीं ले रही है। So at the time of speaking, at the time of ill, you you went inside the room. You're just trying that she takes medicine or she takes anything. So 
वो इतनी कमजोर है बीमार है कि वो कुछ भी नहीं ले रही है सो यू कैन राइट हेयर शी अकॉर्डिंग टू फॉर्मूला शी इज हेयर द लिंकिंग वर्ब ही इज हेयर द लिंकिंग वर्ब आई निगलेक्टेड हेयर ही इज सो लेजी दैट he is so lazy he is so lazy that she is not taking anything so dear students this was about raha hai but i will write rub here and i will change the formula then and let me write the formula here चुका है चुकी है चुके हैं और ये है ये हैं या है सी वो इस कदर कमजोर है कि उसने कुछ भी नहीं लिया है दिस इज नॉट अ डिफरेंट काइंड फर्स्ट वो कुछ भी नहीं ले सकता है दैट्स अ डिफरेंट देन वो कुछ भी नहीं लेता है दैट्स अ डिफरेंट वो कुछ भी नहीं ले रहा है दैट्स अ डिफरेंट नाउ वो कुछ भी उसने कुछ भी नहीं लिया है इट्स अ डिफरेंट वन सो वी हैव अ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ट्रांसलेशन फॉर देयर सो दिस इज लिंकिंग वर्ड नाउ एंड दिस इज सब्जेक्ट हेयर वी हैव नाउ सब्जेक्ट प्लस हैज हैव एंड देन थर्ड फॉर्म Third form, and then another noun or object. But I'll write here now. You can do the translation of such sentence by cannot as well. But the better is that if you go appropriate, you use the appropriate verb, and that you can do. That's up to you. So, वो इतनी कमजोर है. कि उसने कुछ भी नहीं लिया है नाउ डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वे वो इतनी कमजोर है कि उसने कुछ भी नहीं लिया है या है और वो कुछ भी नहीं ले चुकी है दैट्स आल्सो पॉसिबल वो कुछ भी नहीं ले चुकी है सो so, uh, I will just write it now. I will make the translation of it according to this formula. So first, he, she, because the feminine, she is so, then weak. She is so weak that she. She is so weak that she. Then it's a singular for singular in present. We use has, and for the plural we use have. So it's a singular. We use she has. not then liya hai taken she has not taken third form anything so dear students but this cannot be only the way there can be more things like in a stop chuka hai there can be i will just make another formula here it can end at ta raha hai ta raha hai पी रही है ते रहे हैं नाउ हियर ओनली यू हैव टू चेंज द फॉर्मूला द नेक्स्ट अदर पार्ट इज सेम सो सब्जेक्ट प्लस देर इज हैज हैव देर इज बीन एंड देर इज इन फॉर्म एंड देन देर इज अनदर नाउन सो दिस विल बी द फॉर्मूला सो आई विल कीप द सेम सेंटेंस एंड आई विल राइट हेयर ओनली this thing that how in urdu it's possible and what way you have to do to translate that wo itni kamzor hai ki usne kahi saalon se saalon se koi kaam kahi saalon se ki usne kahi saalon se nahi it will be like this wo
कि वो कि वो तीन सालों से नहीं दौड़ती रही है सी दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ रही है सो वो इतनी कमजोर है कि वो तीन सालों से नहीं दौड़ती रही है दिस इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल मे बी यू हैव फर्स्ट काइंड ऑफ कंस्ट्रक्शन इन उर्दू समवेयर एंड यू हैव ट्रांसलेट दीज सो अकॉर्डिंग टू फॉर्मूला आई एम राइट हेयर शी देन इट्स लिंकिंग वर्ड हेयर इज सो वीक शी इज सो वीक दैट नो सब्जेक्ट दैट शी कई सालों से नहीं दौड़ती रही है शी इज शी देन इट्स हैज फॉर सिंगुलर she has then not then been she has not been running she has not been running for many years for many years so this will be the exact translation she is so weak that she has not been running for many years वो इतनी कमजोर है कि वो तीन सालों से या फॉर थ्री इयर्स फॉर इफ इट्स नॉट कई सालों से देन इट्स शुड बी थ्री इयर्स सो शी इज सो वीक वो इतनी कमजोर है कि वो तीन सालों से नहीं दौड़ती रही है सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस वाज द वेट ट्रांसलेट एंड इन अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर विल सी अबाउट द पास्ट एंड देन फ्यूचर एंड द साइंस वुड बी सेम इस कदर एंड इतना सो सीन अवर नेक्स्ट लेक्चर still it goodbye